What is up guys? So today uh, I got my hands on a PlayStation 5 at GameStop in Broussard. The people were very nice there. Always are. Love going in there. If you need any kind of video game stuff in general, I definitely I recommend the GameStop in Broussard. They're awesome. Um, but yeah, I camped out there at 7.30 this morning. They opened at 10. Not a single person showed up until like 9.50. My friend Gavin had showed up with me and it was just this guy and his son. And they were both cool too. Um, but yeah, so I was able to get my hands on one of these. It came in a bundle. It ended up being like $811. So it was kind of a lot. But I had been saving up my, my, saving up my money for it. Because I had really wanted one for a long time. So I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this for y'all. So y'all can kind of just check it out. I know there's plenty of these videos. But it just seemed like something fun to do. So I'm going to kind of jump right in. So first of all, obviously, came with the PlayStation 5 itself. Came with... Uh, Call of Duty Vanguard, which I'm not really big into Call of Duty, but I mean, gives me something else to play, I guess. Uh, and I had to pick up Demon Souls, the remake, because I'm big into that kind of stuff. Came with an extra remote and a little uh, charging station for the two remotes that it comes with. So, yeah, that's everything. Now I can get to unboxing some of this stuff. I'll start out with the uh, the wireless controller. Alrighty, that is a good looking controller, I gotta say. I like, my favorite kind of controller, as far as I know, is the Xbox controller, because that's all I really use. But that, it just looks, it looks really nice and like kind of futuristic and it kind of really gives you that next gen vibe. Real cool. Alright, I can put that to the side right here. Next up, we have the charging station for the remotes. Alrighty, let's do this. It's pretty much the exact same setup for it. For how they package this one. Little manual, power cord, and of course the charging station itself. So yeah, awesome. Put those to the side as well. And now finally we have the main event, the actual PlayStation 5 itself. I did get the uh, the disc version because I do want to buy some like steel books and stuff and like I know I could get the steel books even if I just get digital but I like to actually own the discs anyway. It's just cooler to me. So yeah. Alright. Right here. Let me get a knife. Got my knife, our cutting tool. Cutting that sticker right there. That was not a pleasant sound, I apologize. Alright, let's see. First thing that comes out, let's see what this is. Ah, another remote. Awesome. Another remote right here. Power cord, I'm assuming, for the PlayStation itself. What is this? I have no idea what this is. This is just the stand for the PlayStation, I guess? I think so. I'm pretty sure that's what this is supposed to be. Awesome. And a nice HDMI cord. Could never have enough of those. And now I see the actual main event itself. It's pretty cool. They have the logo right there. I don't know which way it goes. Is it this way? Who knows? We're about to find out. It is the other way. Awesome. Very gentle. That is a big console. Oh my gosh. 
it looks really like so futuristic it just feels really high quality I'm very excited to set this bad boy up um, yeah and I can play some Call of Duty Vanguard or Demon Souls I definitely plan on doing some kind of review and maybe a kind of a comparison of my thoughts between the Series X and the PlayStation 5 um, but yeah this you see the the disc output God, it's so beautiful cannot wait to start playing this and uh if you have any thoughts or suggestions leave them in the comments below don't forget to like comment and subscribe and uh i'll see y'all next time thank you